Hi, and welcome to another edition of Strategic Business Insights. Today we're going to talk about psychological momentum. Psychological momentum, and it can be positive or negative. So here's the thing. There's upward spirals and there's downward spirals. Okay, If your mindset, if you're thinking positive, for whatever reason, you have a larger probability of seeing more positive things throughout the day. Okay, like for example, if you wake up in the morning and for whatever reason you just wake up chipper, you're happy, right? You're, you have a positive mindset. Okay, this, there's countless things that happen in a given day. But your mind, because you're already in a positive mindset, you're going to notice the good things more than you're going to notice the bad things, or at least swayed slightly more in that direction. Okay, which is going to create the illusion that it's even a better day than it actually is relative to any other day. Okay, same thing can happen on the other side of the fence. You can wake up uh, on the wrong side of the bed, as they say, right? Bad mindset for whatever reason. You're in a bad mood. Maybe you didn't sleep well, or you had a bad dream. Whatever it is. Okay, and now you've got this negative mindset in your mind, which means that you're going to go through the rest of your day, and you're going to notice all the negative things more than the positive things, which is going to reaffirm your belief that it's a bad day. Okay? At the end, if you actually look at the two situations empirically, the only difference was that first mindset of when you first woke up. After that, let's say the days were identical. Your perception when you woke up with a bad mindset will be that more than likely, most likely, it's not guaranteed, but most likely it's going to be that the whole day was bad. All kinds of bad things happened. Meanwhile, if you woke up in a positive mindset, your belief is going to be that it was a good day and all kinds of good things happened, even if those two days were exactly identical. Right? People study this kind of stuff. Here's the reality. Your subconscious mind right, can take in roughly 10 million observations in any given situation. Right? Even now, you're watching this video on a computer somewhere or on a mobile device. You've made all kinds of observations about your environment, how cold, how hot, a scent in the air, a piece of lint on the floor, whatever. You've made tons of observations. Okay? 10 million uh, on average. Okay? Meanwhile, your conscious mind can only keep track of about 40 of those. Right? So in other words, 99.9996% of what you, the observations you make, the observations that come in through your eyes or your nose, your ears, your touch, all those observations, you, only, you, only, you are not even consciously aware of 99% of them. 99.9996, right? You're only consciously aware of a tiny fraction. So, and I've told this story many times, but when I first moved to Los Angeles, I bought a green Volkswagen Jetta. And what happened? Right? Predictably, I started seeing Volkswagen Jettas all over the place. Okay? Those Jettas were there before. Nothing actually changed. The same number of Jettas were on the roads before versus after my purchase. But because I was focused or more aware, right? in other words, the observation of a Jetta moved from my subconscious mind into my conscious mind. Okay, You can control these things. You can specifically train your brain to look for more positive things. And it's not about pasting a smile on your face in some sort of disingenuous, fake way uh, that so many people do. They're just cheerleaders even though deep down inside they're miserable. But what I'm talking about is just training your brain to at least notice positive things. Gratitude, uh, doing positive things, doing things that make you happy, doing things that make you feel passionate. All those things can invigorate your brain and make it have a positive slant, which is going to, what what's the effect going to be? The effect is going to be that in any situation that you're in, and in a day you could be in a dozen different situations or two or three dozen, depending on what it is you do. In all of those situations, there's 10 million observations in all of those you're going to notice more positive things. It's going to reaffirm. In other words, you can be in a downward spiral. If you're, if you're having a bad day, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you're having a bad day because your mind is focused on bad things. It's going to reaffirm. It's going to make it impossible almost to not have a bad day. right? If your career is taking off, if you have that belief in your, bri your brain that your career is going well, it's going to go very well. Because you're going to notice things that's going to accelerate the process. Right? Meanwhile, if you think your business is in the toilet, things are difficult, things are hard, if you're focused on that mindset, it's going to come true. It's going to come true. It's going to continue to be hard because you're going to notice things that reaffirm what's already lodged in your brain. Right? Let's go take it to marriage. Right? If you're married, is your marriage going well? 
If you have that in your brain, my marriage is going well, the probability is much higher that your marriage is going to go well because you're going to focus on the good things, right? Or if you're saying your marriage is bad, here's the thing in relationships, right? Let's say you're, let's say your wife, okay? Let's assume you're a man. You could be a woman, but let's say you're a man, so you have a wife, okay? When you have positive images, or let's take it the other way around. When your wife thinks of you positively, she's going to notice all your good qualities and pr practically ignore. She, she might not even notice your bad qualities. If she has a positive mindset about your relationship, she's going to notice the good things and almost not even, it's almost like they don't even exist. Okay, But the opposite is also true. If things start going sour, and you guys are arguing, you're fighting, things are not going well, all of a sudden, what's she going to notice? She's going to notice all the bad things and she's almost not even going to notice the good. It's, they're going to disappear for her. Okay, and obviously the reverse is true. So if you have good conceptions of your relationship with your wife, you're going to notice the positive things. And it, it, literally, it's, if those observations of her bad things go into her subconscious mind and never go into your conscious mind, you will not even consciously be aware of those negative things. Right? It's, all gonna, it's, it's almost like it, it disappears entirely. Meanwhile, if you have a bad conception of your relationship, it's going to come true. Right? Upward spirals and downward spirals, this is the momentum in psychology. If you start with, with one bad thought, it's a domino effect. Emotions are magnets. Right? If you have a positive emotion, it's going to attract other positive emotions. You're going to notice positive things. It's going to spiral up. Right? Excuse me. Meanwhile, if you have a negative emotion, if you have a negative thought, it's a magnet. It's going to attract other negative thoughts. You're going to notice negative things. There's nothing hokey about this. It's science, right? It's, it's, it's noticing the Jettas rather than some other type of car, like a Toyota Camry. I wasn't noticing the Camrys because I didn't have one. It wasn't in my brain. It's like they didn't even exist. But because I was driving a Jetta, that was in my brain. And as a result of that, I noticed the Jettas, right? We can train our brains, right? We can train. You have to stay real. But you can train it to be positive and focus on what you want to do. Focus on your dreams, some real ambitious goal or, or you know, a future positive relationship that's even better than the relationship you're in right now. It could be with the same person, but just at, a, at another level. Right? Imagine that and think about it. When you think about it, you're going to automatically start noticing other things that lead you to that destination. This is the law of attraction with a scientific foundation. Right? The law of attraction works because of the power of your unconscious mind. Your unconscious mind will notice things you will not even believe, right? 10 million observations in any given set setting. There's tons of observations you're not even noticing today. So if you train your brain to start thinking about those things, you're going to notice all sorts of things that's going to make it come true. So take responsibility for the thoughts that go into your mind. Take responsibility for your own mindset and know that if you start your day on a positive footing, if you start your day with your ambitions, your goals, your dreams, your aspirations, you're going to have a much you're going to have a better day and you're going to have a much higher probability of achieving those goals over time. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I do appreciate it. My name is Patrick reminding you to think bigger about your business. Think bigger about your life.